Hey, welcome back to Happy Little Note Trees. Just wanted to share an update, uh, uh, something that I showed off a couple months ago that another person in the colors community helpfully went and made the DCTL4 that I was kind of asking for. So, if you recall, stop that. Recall, I showed off this little graph here of a note tree that was what I was saying was how I was doing um, technical or three strip. Um, so it's like 21 nodes, it's a bit complex, and if we pop back, put it in a compound node, and yeah, you're kind of stuck with what it can do. Uh, we turn it off, turn it on, so you can see it has a, it has an effect on the image, uh, it pretty much pulls in and, and tightens it up, so you can see it on the vector scope, uh, onto the hues, uh, but yeah, it kind of, if you dived into it, it uh, add some tracks and makes purified channels um, for red, green, and blue, and then puts them back together at the end of the day. So uh, I th just quickly rebuilt this from the power grid. I had an issue with it, but uh, yeah, that's complex and hard. But in response to that video that I did, uh, Henry Bobeck, the link is in the description, made the DCTL because I don't know how to code. Um, as you can see, we're pretty much doing the same thing that we were doing with this. Uh, that if we each, let's just pipe this directly into, so we're using OpenDRT as our out, and then we have this guy here, we can just turn him on. And we're going to just pipe them in. There should be relatively no change, a little brightness, but that's because he gave us extra settings. Uh, things that I didn't ask for, uh, and it just makes it a lot better. So you can actually preserve your luminance, or not preserve your luminance, or dial it in however you want. Um, and that's why like, there was that big jump where when you turn preserve luminance off full strength, you get this aspect where... Uh, it is one-to-one -one with that note tree that I made, but if you turn Preserve Luminance on, it main retains the brightness that was being lost in my crazy complex note tree that I had. You can also dial in the strength, so you can kind of blend it. It's kind of a blend slider, uh, so I think like how the key output works and things like that. Uh, the other thing is you can you know, auto it aligns to skin tones, uh, so you're not really if something is in the vein of being a skin tone, it doesn't uh, break uh, and push out of alignment, which is a very important thing if you want to maintain the idea of skin and the color of skin. The other thing that I asked for once he had made it and showed it to me was the ability to choose which channel you want to output. So uh, sometimes. This is an effect, doing it like this is an effect if you were in the fusion page uh, and you took your footage and merged it over, uh, well I can show you I guess, I can hop over to fusion, and there we go. So we have our footage here, uh, and you can see, oops, let's bring this up in the viewer. Uh, so this is before our input CST, but in effect, what that DCTL is doing is creating a merge node um, and the color page that allows you to separate out your channels. And so what it does is when you go into here, into settings, and you drop down, and you turn off everything but red, what you're going to get coming out is just the red channel. Um, and that is something you can do in the fusion page when you're wanting to combine and make different effects and get things to look right when you're compositing but on the color page uh, there's some really cool things that I've been doing with film emulation where this is a really helpful little tool um, where you can kind of now add in two of these so if we were to double it up add in the corrector and just add another one copy, paste, and now we're going to just add in a 
a custom mixer because those are fun. So we're just gonna open up a custom mixer here. We can tell it we want only the green. And we're gonna pipe that in here. Put that there. And we'll pump that out here for now. And it's like, oh, that doesn't do anything. And we're gonna switch that to combine. And now, when we do screen, is it screen, yeah. We have this ability to create and blend these two together in fun, unique ways. So right now we're only working with two tones. Uh, and so you look at the vector scope over there as we blend those together. Uh, we're not, there is nothing in the blue channel, really. Uh, relatively small and mostly it adds the luminance to the white and just trying to get that balance. But you now we can, we can actually take all the blue channel out <laughs> completely, turn up this, and just kind of dial in because it's only affecting green doesn't do anything because there's no green there so you can turn that to zero and now you're only sliding around your red channel green does things here and does some things here which has always been a fascinating piccadilly but you can turn that off just to find and now you're blending your look in like this and now we have technically a Technicolor two-strip uh, setup going into OpenDRT. There is no blue in the channel, and that is just a lot of fun for getting back at that old-school, uh, non-modern way of looking at footage. I really, really kind of, every time I work with the Technicolor two-strip, I'm kind of drawn into it. So, anyways... Uh, yeah, that's just an update. So that DCTL, he has a video on it as well and a link uh, I put the links in the description to his page where he can get uh, you can get this DCTL for free So enjoy uh, and have fun and Yeah, like subscribe do all those other UTV things and watch another video But yeah play around with this DCTL. It's a lot easier than 21 nodes in a complex conundrum of tree and it has options uh, preserve luminance is fun uh, and being able to dial in even a blend of things but uh, and strength and then being able to pick your channel and pop it out and control it very very fun thank you Henry uh, for making this for me I've been having a lot of fun with it anyways uh, until next time this has been happy little no trees and I'll see you somewhere else. Probably you watching me, me wondering who's looking at me, but anyways, bye.